Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, headed to the locker, going to pick up a single sale. It was a uh, computer fan that I had and didn't need it, and it was never open, so it was still inside the package. So I uh, sold it, and I think it probably brought in probably a lot less than I paid for it, but you know, it's better than nothing. So I think it was like 450 and then it cost about that to ship it somewhere. So just one more thing. We are, today was a lot of effort trying to make contact with people to see about trying to get a job. Uh, I got uh, out of nowhere, I got a contact from someone that used to work at my old office a long time ago. They've moved on and they indicated that they had put my resume in front of somebody else and uh, he called me up to let me know that just in case I got a call from these people that uh, he's the one that uh, put it out there and that was very kind of him so we're still knee deep in the hunt to try to get a job and uh, hopefully hopefully that'll turn around I'm uh, getting tired of stressing trying to find a place and uh, so hopefully it all work out. I have a uh, interview on Thursday with a company, and uh, it brings up a subject that I, I wish there was a better answer for, and I have a feeling that there isn't. Uh, when I've gone and I've done interviews, even way back in the day, because I'd worked at my old company for 29 years, so it's actually been a while since I've actually had to go through the interview process, or even just a filling out an application process but when you go get an interview you'd love to be able to get some kind of response back from them to let you know that you you didn't get chosen so you're not you know you're not planning on it or you're not uh pine you know not pining away but you know waiting on it and by no mad no stretch of the imagination am i waiting to hear back from this company but after not hearing from them for about a week you just have to go on the assumption that uh, they they're not interested they're moving on to somebody else but it's difficult to 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 sit there and and not hear anything so if you could have just like if even the HR person could just give you a quick email or something like that that says we appreciate you sitting through the interview but it ain't happening so but hey, you know how you know how to solve this problem? Actually, find somebody that'll hire you. So it's stressful. I, you know, I, I hope everybody else that's going through the same effort. Uh, I, I wish them the best, and uh, that's that's all we can do at this point. I know you're probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but there is only one way to solve this. Get a job. All right, so I'll see you at the locker. Gator out. So we are going to go inside. I'm also going to take the battery for the light. And so we will be hooking up the light today. And um, that's a good thing. See you at the locker. All right, everybody, we are back here at the locker. And. Here's the battery that's going to be used to light this light. So it's about to get really bright right about here. So other than that, uh, wires, extension cables, and all that kind of stuff like that for future charging. So in theory, can probably put the battery here and just plug in and just push the button from there. I don't want to take away from Gatorbait's workable area here. You see this is not good. So we'll have to come up with a plan there. Ok. 
Okay. So let's get it working. So we're going to put you right here. So, there's our new work light. That's pretty good. So, this light, in the process of moving over to this location, I went to go turn it on to do some work and it died. You guys, I believe you saw that in the video uh, a little while back. So that battery doesn't last quite as long as I uh, thought it would. So we're going to uh, have to keep an eye on that and, uh, and, and deal with it as we can. The other option is, is instead of it being up in here, I could run an extension cord over to here and maybe just stick it right here. But you can see this is a stock area, and it's a convenient stock area given my height and stuff like that. But it's a very small, it's a very small shelf, so it really is only a shelf for something like DVDs and and stuff like that. I mean, this is this is pushing it. I'm over by an inch. But uh, so we are pulling a fan. I believe is supposed to be in 43, and it is. You can see one fan. Uh, I'll put the picture up on the screen so you can see what I got it for. These are extension cords and cables, which for the meantime can just sit right here in this box. And uh, honestly, that's that's the extent of today's that's the extent of today's pickups. So. I'd love to be able to uh, give you guys a little bit more stuff to look at, but I got to get people to buy stuff. And I got I got two starter stores. Uh, one is at about 116 items listed, and the other one is about 120 items listed. Um, so of course, it's it's a lot of DVDs, but a lot of those are listed as variants. So they really don't take up all those slots that you see. But, you know, all the drawers, actually a lot of the, the boxes in this area, the ones that you see kind of sticking out and not, you know, nice and pretty back where they should be, are drawers that I've put, or bins that I put stuff in. So, hopefully we'll get some sales and, uh, start doing some more more garage selling but honestly right now I should actually hold off on the garage sale and get the dead the dead pile a lot smaller I'd like to be able to reclaim my house so I can actually be in it and not feel like I'm uh, swamped so this should be a pretty easy pack and actually I, I went ahead and brought a, a padded envelope put the label already on it and uh, so I should just uh, put it in there and package it up and send it out. So that's the plan. Thanks for tagging along. I know it's not a whole lot, but we're going to keep plugging away at it. You guys take care. Gator out.